So, so today I wanted to present my final presentation on the influential jazz dancer known as uh, Bob Foss. Um, he was very influential. Um, one of the main people, take a guess, uh, that he influenced that we all know and give uh, and, and give a lot of praise to is the one and only Michael Jackson. Uh, yeah, Michael Jackson, the Michael Jackson. Um, through his uh, he was born in 1927 and died 1987, so he lived 60 years. He was born in uh, Chicago. Um, this was all found on Wikipedia and IB IMDB.com um, and, Vanity, and VanityFair.com. And, uh, yeah, he was born in Chicago. Uh, he was one of six. Um, he began his professional career in films, and he was influenced by Fred Astaire and Jack Cole. I, that was found again, and yeah, in the PowerPoint that we went over in class and that we had to read in class. Um, what lured me to him? Uh, he was a trendsetter. He was in, he showed his individuality through his dance. So through his sexual, se through his sexual movements, through his dance, you know, it was the first of, of his time during that time period of jazz dance and the upbringing of jazz music as a whole. And you know, during that time, even though he was kind of just being born, you know, the Harlem Renaissance was going on. And that was a social movement. Uh, that was a social movement, basically including all African Americans and and just just and just and just the upbringing of the of the whole culture of being African American. So through clothes, theater, music, dance, um, song, playwriting, all of that, you know, it was it was it was okay. It was it was it was, it, it was broadcast to be okay to be African American. You know, during that time, it was minstrel shows and and a lot of segregation and racism, and just just um, and just suppression like towards black people at the time African Americans and, and you know Bob Foss being a mon being a majority because you know he wasn't black and he was still able to leave a such a legacy and, and, and impact you know the iconic figures in entertainment such as Michael Jackson you know it speaks a lot and you know that drew my attention and also like the the, the biggest thing is yeah he's a trendsetter so you know people followed after him and uh, he was the first of his time. You know, it's 2019 now, so we're we're allowed to dance however we want. We have a freedom of dance, freedom of speech. You know, back then, you know, during the 1930s, 1940s, you know, it was it was more conservative thinking. Like, so for him to you know trademark all these things and with the with the side sideways shuffling and the turned in knees, the rolled shoulders, the jazz hands, and just being sexual and you know luring people in with his movements is a uh, it speaks a lot for who he was. And you know, according to thought. Thoughtco.com and PBS.org. Um, it was told that, yeah, he did a lot of uh, shows and uh, a lot of his famous work uh, includes Intro, Sweet Charity, Little Prince, MJ slash Foss Mix. So you know he was able to intertwine acting and dancing. So which, and also uh, according to Britian Brit. Tinnika.com. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Um, it was said that he was the only person to win three awards in one year, and those three awards are iconic awards that we all know. Um, it includes the Oscar, the Emmy, and the Tony Award. So yeah, he's the only person to win all three awards in one year, and um, that just shows you the type of impact that he had on entertainment and uh, people as a whole. In conclusion, I feel like Bob Foss. Uh, is an iconic figure. Like without him, you know, we wouldn't have, you know, Mike, the Michael Jacksons of the world, and uh, even even people that came after Michael Jackson. I can't name them personally right now, but just all in all, just the turned in hands of his iconic trademark hat that we, you know, identify with Michael Jackson. But it, he got it from him, so it speaks a lot. And uh, I just feel as if his name should be, you know, his his name should be, you know, spoken more of and. Uh, should be more out there, you know, even though he hasn't blown up like Michael Jackson, he's still known around the world, and uh, I feel like without him, jazz wouldn't be the same.